I'm Aarti Krishnan. You're watching A to Z of stock market investing. Today, let's look at P for P ratio. Imagine you have a rich uncle who's just asked you to pick very good stocks for his personal portfolio. How do you go about choosing these stocks? As you know, there are over 6,000 stocks listed on the Indian markets. So how do you find the right stocks to own? Basically, seasoned investors, apart from looking for the right sectors to own, use this metric called the P-E ratio or the P-E multiple. The P-E ratio is nothing but short for price earnings ratio. The numerator of this ratio is basically the stock price, the current market price of the stock. So when you see these ticker tapes running on the exchanges, both the BSC and NSE, the price that you find there becomes the numerator of the PE ratio. The denominator is the earnings per share. It is basically the net profit of a company which belongs to each shareholder. So the net profit divided by the number of shares that the company has issued becomes the EPS of the company. Well, you look to the company's latest quarterly results filings. If a company has given out an ad in the newspaper or put it up in, on its website, you will find that the quarterly results filing gives the latest quarterly EPS, the EPS for the last one year as well as the EPS for the same quarter last year. You usually use the financial year's EPS as the denominator for calculating the PE ratio. The PE ratio tells you how many years profits you are actually paying in order to buy up a share. For example, if the Bajaj Auto stock today trades at 2500 rupees and its last year's EPS was 100 rupees, the PE ratio is 25 times. Effectively, when you buy a share today, you are expecting it to pay back in form of profits over the next 25 years. 25 years seems to be a very long time in fact to get back your money, right? So is that a very high PE? It is a fairly high PE, but when a company is given a very high PE by the market, it means that investors expect its profits to grow at a very high rate over the next few years. Well, that depends on whether you are a growth investor or a value investor. Growth investors, as we discussed in an earlier video, tend to buy stocks with high growth prospects and are willing to pay a high price for it. Value investors try to buy stocks which are cheap in the hope that the market's expectations of growth will be beaten by the company. In selecting stocks based on their PE ratio, what matters is not the actual PE but the market's estimates of growth rates for the company in future. So different investors in the market may have their own estimates of how fast a company can grow. This is what makes for buys or sells in the market. So today, Bajaj Auto actually trades at a PE of 25 times. Tata Motors looks very cheap at 9 times. This tells you that most investors in the market expect Bajaj Auto's two wheel to sell at a rapid rate over the next few years whereas they expect Tata Motors trucks to deliver a very sluggish growth over the next few years. When you listen to analysts talking on TV or people making uh, recommendations on TV, you often find people mentioning many types of PE ratios. So there is reference to a trailing PE, historic PE, forward PE and so on. What do these things mean? using the PE ratio is not so easy. Well, the PE part, the price is quite indisputable because you take it from the current market price, the denominator is subject to a lot of estimation and guesswork. So some companies may pad up their current profits through some creative accounting. Sometimes analysts may make projections which are very widely varying for the next year. So you will be in a dilemma about which forward earnings to use. Similarly, a company's growth rate that you estimate may go very 
very wide of the mark and the company may end up delivering a very different profit number for the future years. Therefore, the PE ratio, though it may look simple, is not really that easy to apply. After all, if you could pick stocks just based on one metric like the PE ratio, everybody would be a billionaire, isn't it?